Beep, 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 beep. Just the news. Well, this new, new and approved. I've got a runny nose. Hello. <laughs> How are we, good peeps? Another day, another dollar, another shirt, and a dirty collar. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's talk about ECHR. All right. Um, the Equality and Human Rights Commission, who, you know, is run by a rather marvellous woman called Baroness Faulkner. I've mentioned her before, and you've seen what's been going on. But I want to talk now about the tactics of the woke and the nonsense merchants, grievance merchants, um, liars and um, uh, snake oil salespeople, all that come under the barrel of the barrel under the banner of critical social justice. So all the grifters, you know, critical race theory, intersectionality, all this, you know, the cobblers, gender identity, queer theory, all that nonsense. Um, because what we're seeing here, and it's an article from the Daily Fail, what we're seeing here is that she's being hounded. Um, and it strikes me as it's a it's a it's a witch hunt, which is exactly what it is. Let's be honest, it is a witch hunt. But it's an interesting one because this is how they come for people, um, and it's illustrative of how they come for women, right? So how they how, how they come for Baroness Faulkner is is something worth considering as we read through this article, which we shall do. End the hounding of this brave woman. Groundswell of support grows. I like that word, groundswell. Groundswell of support grows for equality boss Baroness Faulkner, who won't back down in women's rights outcry amid witch hunt by trans activists. What you've got to remember is that these people will infiltrate themselves into organisations and then they will preach their mantras and proselytise their nonsense and also try to get it into processes, policies and procedures. Now, many companies have already fallen for this and it may be too late for them because they're on the road to, to, to not being companies at all. Um, other organisations need to start identifying who they are and getting them out of the business. Pay them off, get rid of them. And furthermore, other businesses uh, will need to start um, looking at how you can keep them out from the beginning and that's what, what you need to do how do you how do you keep them out what processes and procedures can you put in to make sure they don't get into the organization with this belief system that, that wants them to get in and just destroy your, your your company or your business so there's something going on here already that they, they've been infiltrated by them for a while we know that women's rights groups have demanded an end to the witch hunt against the british head of british britain's equality watchdog by trans activists campaigners said kishwa Faulkner was being persecuted by staff within the equality and human rights commission for backing for reforms that would safeguard female only spaces such as toilets and hospital wards these men when you tell them no see they don't like it do they and, and nor to the women who, you know, bleat for them, the handmaidens who support them. They spoke out after the mayor revealed that employees have compiled a dossier of more than 40 complaints against her. They went looking. That's what they do. It's like the universities now. You can go to a, you can make an anonymous complaint. You just have to go to a website and fill it out. I'm not kidding. This is the Stasi. Okay. They spoke out after the mail revealed these 40 allegations. The allegations of bullying, harassment and transphobia are being investigated by a barrister. But instant insiders say they are petty and ideologically motivated. Right. Here's what they do, OK, as part of their plan to bring things to a halt, is they do this. They create grievance in order to steal your time. They are the thieves of time. OK, that's what they do. Now, what's interesting is I think I mentioned this in a video or I'm going to mention it in a video and put a few together. Um, is they've come for they come for uh, Kish where it'll be, you know, the fact that she's a transphobe, the fact that she's uh, bullying and it's harassment. Um, they won't do the sexual one because they can only do that with men. So they'll do that with men. Bully, harassment, sexual offence of some kind. Solidarity, said some people, with with Christopher Faulkner, who, like many, is facing a witch hunt for trying to do her job. They are the thieves of time. Now, what should happen here is... Um, they're vexatious complaints and we should, we should just go, no. Stop dealing with them. Just say, no, we're not dealing with them. Leave. Leave and take us to court. We're not interested. Go away. That's what you need to do. Right? Because bullying to these people is telling them no. Bullying is asking them to do their job without being an activist. Bullying is saying no reality matters and we're not, we're not succumbing to your craziness. That's what bullying is to these people. Because we've given people who are unwell, educationally unfit, intellectually moribund and just plain dumb positions they shouldn't be in. Get them out. It's not complicated. Trans activists within organisations have been vexationally, vexationally using the complaint system for years against dissenting women. They have. Get them out. Transgender trend, which helped expose the scandal of the Tavistock, of uh, the treatment of children there, said another witch hunt instigated by the trans lobby. The EHRC exists to protect everyone's rights, not just one group at the expense of another. Last month, Baroness Falker told the government it should consider amending the, bio the Equality Act on the basis of biological sex rather than gender, which would protect women's rights while barring transgender women from accessing female-only spaces. Um, I've done a video about this. I'm not sure about that at all. But, you know, 
let's not let's not cover old ground again, shall we? Now, they then spoke to Conservative MP Caroline Noakes, who's got form, and you know I'm not particularly fond of Noakes, who has managed to be in position at wherever she's in the Equality and Women's Committee, uh, Equality, blah, 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 and not learn, not learn a damn thing in four years. Um, she has raised questions about Baroness Faulkner's leadership. Caroline Noakes is a disgrace to the Conservative Party, and I think that Rishi Sunak needs to bring her into heel. Or get her out. Go and join the Labour Party, Noakes. What's your bloody problem? You're such an inculcated nutter on this. I'm surprised you're still where you are. Just go and join Labour. Right, or better still, people that are... She's an MP. Vote her out. So, Noakes told Talk TV, I have certainly seen correspondents questioning what biological definition the EHRC is using. There's some serious questions about what on earth they are trying to define there and how they went about it. Tory MP Mark Jenkinson, who also sits on the Women of Qualities Committee, said, we're truly looking through the looking glass on this gender nonsense. Baroness Faulkner is right to stand up for proper equality and hard-won rights of women. EHRC Chief Executive Marcel Boo said last night, we have a duty to deal with complaints in confidence. We are also required to protect the integrity of internal investigations. We urge all media to avoid prejudicing the outcome. Our role is to make judgment on very difficult and contentious areas of law. You know, it's... This is what I would call, if you want, you know, a name for it, a storm in a teacup. And it's been designed um, by these activists within the organisation, which I, te- I assume were recruited by the previous person who was there who was also an activist who ran it. Uh, this is what they do. So they, they'll make something up or they'll come up with various complaints or they'll just shout bullying. Or, oh, you're bullying me. Right. They're just weak people, weak, stupid minded people. So you've got to be aware of this because this is going to be in every organisation you've got to deal with these people. Every organisation, right? Telling them no is not bullying. Telling them to do their job is not bullying. Telling them to stop proselytising at work is not bullying. And then saying to them, I'm going to start the disciplinary procedure if you don't stop is not bullying. And then taking them through the disciplinary procedure and firing them is not bullying. You don't get to proselytise your gender religion and then decide when you're told no that you will say the person that told you no has been bullying you. That's what they're doing. They're going, oh, we can't get our own way anymore. Bully, bully. It's all, do you, anybody see the American woman going, translate the human life, like some child having a mad, you know, conniption fit on national television the other day. This is the same thing, except it's going on in the HRC, the, the Equality and Human Rights Commission. Baroness Faulkner, I think you're doing a good job and I think you deserve to stay there. I don't agree with everything you do. I don't agree with everything you say. I think some of it you've got wrong, but that's, I'm not you. You are a specialist in the field. You have to listen to a twerp like me. So don't listen to twerps like them, all right? Leave them in the gutter with the likes of me while we have the argument. Just get rid of them. Kick them out. You don't need them, okay? You don't need them. Get them gone. Fire them. Take the hit. You've got the money. Take the hit. Let's get it in court. (laughs) Pay for nothing. Fuck them. Take them to court. (laughs) That's what I say. Well, that's enough for today, isn't it? Go on, Baroness Faulkner. You're doing a good job. Keep at it. Don't let the bastards grind you down. Nil cabrundum illegitimum. Go well.